Hi there, this is to follow on from the previous video about modifying the forms. I just wanted to show you a bit more power in the form uh, modifying, so you could uh, add a bit of um, extra um, uh, extra information, layout control, that sort of thing. So if we just click on the where, where we left it, um, let's just toggle editing. Uh, it, it comes up as, as this because of the um, form attributes and we and the hex is stored in the table um, and uh, um, if we just go to the attribute table uh, you, you can see that so there's the hex for the color um, and no they don't sell cakes so that's where we left it I want to, I want to make the form just a little more sophisticated so let's go back to properties um, and these uh, widgets. You see at the top here it says auto generate. What we're going to use is the drag and drop designer. If you click on that you can see you can control the layout. So for, for example we could move things up and down, change the order or totally uh, remove them from the form layout. What I'm going to do actually is uh, add uh, a group, a sort of tab at the top so just just so it's clear, I'm going to call it tab one. Uh, we'll just have one column in it, and we'll add another tab called tab two with one column in it. Into tab one, I'm going to take the best color and just drag it across. See how I just drag it across into tab one, and and the information is still coming up over on the right hand side for the uh, uh, the widgets and stuff and how I want to show stuff. That's still there. But cakes, I would like to drag into tab two. So you see how it's a sort of hierarchical there. Let's let's just see what that looks like. So I press OK, now click, and you see how I've got these two tabs. So I've separated out. So you can imagine lots of fields here and lots of fields here. So you separate them out uh, into um, whatever you 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 um, what you want. Let's add a third tab um, and make it a bit more sophisticated. So and this time add uh, an HTML widget. So if I drag the widget uh, where, where I want it I can drag it into the same uh, one of the same tabs but I think I'll make another tab called fancy data. Okay and I'm gonna drag it into there and actually while I'm while I'm here um, sorry let's cancel up for a second while I'm here, I'm going to move the cakes into tab one and, and then get rid of tab two. So now I've got this tab one with cakes and color in and fancy data HTML widget, which I, which let's say, let's just put the ID in. Okay, so I just add the ID. That's all I'm going to put. Press OK. So now when I click, I've got tab one, which has got my um, usual data in and fancy data. Uh, which says 11. That's the ID that's up there. You see, so that's the HTML version. So let's customize that a bit, just so you can see. So fancy data, HTML widget. It's just got an ID in. Um, let's call this. Uh, actually, I think if we just turn off the label, is that going to do what I want? Fancy data. Okay. So what I wanted to do was on. HTML widget. Let's just uh, let's call it all data or something. So we've got the ID in. Uh, let's now add the. Please choose a color. And then at the end there, uh, do the cell cakes. Okay, so we've got the three sort of values. I, I just pressed uh, return there to sort the data out. But you see, it's all in one line because it's HTML. Press and return doesn't put a, you know, we need a BR in there or something. It's HTML. This is not a lesson on HTML, by the way. So I go back to the fancy data one and do a basic, uh, some basic HTML. So at the beginning of this script, we'll say ID is, and the next one down, what was that? That was color chosen. Uh, and, um, next one was sell cakes question mark but at the end of that we'll just put a BR 
it's, uh, I'm just forcing it to the next line, that's all. I'm sure there's better HTML coders out there than me. So I force it onto the next line. And now when we press OK, you see I've got see it's um, previewed it up here. Press OK, press OK, now click. So we've got a tab. That's still there. We're still in edit mode here. Fancy data and all the data. ID is, colour chosen is, cell cakes, no. So if we go to tab one, set cell cakes to uh, press so it's true. Um, as soon as I go back in, it says yes. There you go. So obviously you had to clear the form to it to stick it in the attribute table. So there we go. Like um, it's a, a there's a bit of bit, nice and nice tab stuff you can do very easily, and you can build up some uh, uh, good views uh, using HTML view uh, HTML formatting there. So that is in go to properties. You need to change that to drag and drop designer instead of auto generate, and then you drag the bits across that you want, and you press this plus here to create categories or tabs and you can put them all in the container and, and all that sort of thing just play play around and uh, but but very, it's very powerful and like I said the HTML stuff you you can help it'll help build up the expressions for you and uh, date and time and all that sort of thing so it, it, it's all there for you just to, to play but anyway I hope you find that also useful thanks very much